Yo, what's up, everyone? So, Gixer Bra or Jixer, whatever you want to call him. I know a lot of people were giving me hate last video. Maybe it was intentional for pronouncing it wrong. But, anyways, he has been identified and he still has a warrant for his arrest. And there's some updates for Gixer, which is actually quite interesting. So, check this out. It states that surveillance video, cell phone data was used to ID the YouTuber motorcyclist who traveled at 170 plus miles per hour on. I-25. Court documents show investigators use convenience store video, a prior traffic stop, and cell phone data to identify Rendon Dietzman of Texas. What's insane is this video was actually posted last year and it took him till now to actually try to press charges. It states that YouTuber identified as Rendon Dietzman, 32 of Texas, uploaded a video last year that was titled Driving from Colorado Springs to Denver in 20 Minutes. The video shows Dietzman traveling up to 173 miles per hour on a motorcycle as he darts between numerous drivers while heading north on Interstate 25. It's that he's wanted in Colorado on seven charges including menacing and reckless endangerment. How they identified him was really interesting. It states that Colorado State Patrol investigator describes how the agency used surveillance and security camera footage from a car wash and convenience store near where Dietzman began recording his YouTube video on September 28, 2023. According to the affidavit in seen on surveillance footage using the same purple and white motorcycle seen on his YouTube video while he purchased gas and then a Red Bull inside an excellent station on Garden of the Gods Road in Colorado Springs. In the video, the rider later removed his helmet and entered the store. As the white male entered the store, he walked next to the height measurement stickers on the door frame. The rider's height appeared to be at least 6'3". Also, the footage was then used to compare Dietzman's image to a police body-worn camera footage from a prior traffic stop in Denton, Texas in June 2022. Traffic stop video clearly showed Mr. Dietzman as the same person in the Exxon gas station video the investigator wrote. Also revealed, investigators obtained a search warrant for cell phone data on September 28, 2023 that showed Dietzman's cell phone was active on the cellular phone towers from Colorado Springs to Denver. Documents also refer to drivers who called to complain about Dietzman dangerous driving, including a woman who told investigators she feared for the safety of others traveling on the highway. Damn, so the police in the U.S. are not messing around when it comes to this kind of stuff, which is actually quite interesting to me because I was almost kidnapped out here and the police barely did anything. So get this, when these guys tried to kidnap me, there's a video on YouTube of it, I actually defended myself and when I chased these guys, I followed them to a gas station on the corner and when I told the police this, I thought they would go in and follow up and they didn't even do that. So when I went in there to question the manager to see if there was surveillance footage, there was actually surveillance footage of the guys in the store and they used a card to make purchases and I told the police and you think they were going to go investigate it, get the card information, get the surveillance footage and they did nothing. They didn't even follow up, didn't even go into it. And then when I talked to the police the next time, they said there was nothing they could do and they actually concluded it. And that just blows my mind. That, that just shows you how lazy the police are out here compared to the police in the U.S. when it comes to crimes. Recklessly driving in a motorcycle and posting videos on YouTube and this is the investigation they do and then somebody actually has attempted kidnapping and the police out here don't absolutely do anything. That just blows my mind. But anyways, this is where there's some good news for Gixer Bra. Wanted in Colorado for speeding more than 150 miles per hour will Check this likely out. not be arrested. Not be arrested. News of his arrest warrant has captured the nation's attention <laughs> after he uploaded video of his crimes. Jeremy Hohola has been following this story. And Jeremy, this man lives in Texas. And the YouTube doesn't. Based in Colorado. YouTube doesn't so care. That's what's crazy too. For police in Texas. Today? All the power to him. Yeah, on, on this Colorado warrant likely no he's facing seven misdemeanors and these are not crimes that would qualify for extradition between texas and colorado so as long so he won't be extradited so even if he gets arrested in any other state other than colorado he won't be extradited they don't they don't care as long as this guy stays out of our state he can actually avoid the handcuffs this week colorado Damn. state patrol announced they have issued an arrest warrant for the 32 year old youtuber here on this bike his name is <laughs> rendon dietzman dietzman is facing seven charges including menacing and reckless endangerment last year dietzman uploaded this video of himself darting dangerously between cars and i-25 so get this as long as he stays out of colorado state and he doesn't end up having any police you know altercations or getting pulled over or anything he's perfectly fine i mean like he can go to colorado state but if he gets pulled over or anything happens then they're going to see that he has a warrant and that's what's pretty interesting is that no other state really cares so even if he gets pulled over and they're like oh yeah you got like a warrant for your arrest with seven different things uh we don't care you're free to go 
tells us in order for Dietzman to be arrested, he would have to come back to Colorado and have an encounter with police or turn himself in here. <laughs> this misdemeanor warrant is I, not something <laughs> Texas police would arrest him for. I highly even doubt he will. If he was pulled over in the Dallas area where he lives. Meanwhile, Dietzman's cases have been picked up by national. Damn. So that goes to show you as long as he doesn't turn himself in and go to Colorado state and get pulled over, he's perfectly fine. He doesn't have to worry about it. Yeah. He has a warrant for his arrest, but no other police force out there in other states aren't going to care. So Gixer bra is a okay. He's good to go. So I'm not 100% familiar with American law. You can kind of Google stuff, but from what I'm understanding, as long as you have like minor misdemeanors in one state as long as you don't go back to that state no other state's going to really care i think it's only when you get like a felony charge that if you're like pulled over in a different state that they're going to actually extradite you over and i think it all depends among the states but there you go there's an update gixer bra is a-okay he has a warrant for his arrest as long as he doesn't get arrested in colorado or go back to colorado or turn himself in he's good like i said he could go to colorado but as long as he doesn't get pulled over he's fine and he doesn't have to worry about anything honestly this was the best news for him he does, he's got a warrant and he doesn't have to worry about it just avoid that state and he got all this publicity and gained a bunch of followers and it's going to make a bunch of views and make a ton of money off of this his channel is fully monetized as you can see there's an ad here he has 250,000 subscribers this video posted 10 hours ago has 23,000 views and it's going to just go up but I noticed like tons of people are donating money thinking he's going to need it for the bail and he doesn't he's not going to get arrested this guy donated 50 bucks all the power to him that's pretty cool but like the thing is is like youtube has like terms of service where technically if you break the law or commit like criminal acts or even do dangerous or reckless stuff they could actually take down your channel so he's really dodged a bullet not only with the law but also with youtube because i've seen youtube channels that have been taken down for absolutely nothing so it goes to show you that he's very lucky and he's just gonna ride the wave all the power to him so yeah i just thought i'd update you all with what's going on that's probably going to be the end of it unless he goes back to colorado or he just keeps making reckless videos and ends up getting arrest warrants in other states which is a possibility but it seems like he's been doing this for a long time so he's not too worried about it and he has other times been arrested at other states like even texas so let's go he's all good so yeah, I just wanted to share that with everyone. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Please like this video and click that subscribe button for more. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe. God bless you all. Take care and peace out.